Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another video. Um, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my favourite skincare products. Um, I've got so many different skincare products, literally I use so many, I change it up all the time. So I thought I'd show you guys what I like to use when my skin's, you know, needs a bit more hydration and just on like an everyday basis as well. So let's get into the video. I'd say this skincare product is probably my all time favourite moisturiser. Um, literally I use it every single day like it's I don't think I could live without it I'd ha always have to have it it is the L'Oreal Hydrogenous Aloe Water it is so so hydrating this is literally the best product I think I've ever used and it smells amazing when my skin is like as dry as anything put a little bit on it's like it brings it back to life straight away. This is so, so good. Um, you can get it in most places. It's like obviously Superdrug Boots. I think like any supermarket really. Um, yeah, and it's only £10. So I think it's £10. Maybe £10.99. £9.99. Yeah, it's around £10. Um, but honestly, it will change your skincare life. Like honestly, it will. I'm going to keep saying honestly in this video, and I am, but literally it will change your life, and now she's saying literally, but it comes out like a water, so it's like that, and I mean it doesn't run, it's not runny, like, when I say it comes out like water, it's not like water, obviously, but it comes out like that, oh I can smell it already, it's so good, and then you literally, when you... Blend it in. I don't know if you can. Can you just see that? Oh God, it's just so smoothing, and my hand instantly feels refreshed. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. If you haven't got this, go and pick that up from your local Superdrug. Now, another hydrating product that I like to use. I haven't just got one of. I've got three of. They are the Mario Badescu facial sprays. Mario Badescu, is that how you say it? I think it is. Mario Badescu. Mario. Oh, yeah, we're going to go with that. So, there are three different flavours. Oh, I'm not showing you this very well, am I? There we go. Three different flavours. Um, the green one is a facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. The purple one is facial spray with aloe chamomile and lavender can't really you know spell or pronounce my words properly anyway and the pink one is facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water so i think don't quote me on it because obviously i'm not like a skincare professional but i think the green one is for the morning the pink one or red one whatever you want to say is for like throughout the whole day and the purple one is for the night time so obviously like lavender is quite like a you know helps you sleep it's quite relaxing so you spray it on before you go to bed and then like yeah it's meant to relax you ready for bed and then obviously the green one it's got cucumber and green tea so it's meant to like wake you up um and then obviously the pink one is just like rose water so it's just you know I don't really know to be honest <laughs> I just no I'm sure that is right because I think I think I saw it on Beauty Bay's website when I bought them like whenever I bought them ages ago I'm sure it says on there like obviously you don't have to it's not like religious that you have to use it at them times but that's what they say like that colours for that time that colours for that time anyway they are so good like you literally just need like five or six sprays I mean I would do six because I've got OCD but Oh my god, what am I going on about? Um, yeah, you literally just need like five or six sprays, spray it all over your face, and it just brings the hydration back into play. It's so, so good. Um, a lot of people think that they're like a setting spray. They're not a setting spray as such. Like, they're not like you'd go and super drug and pick up like a second setting spray from like Revolution or whatever. Um, but they're so hydrating, so you can use them like throughout your makeup routine and even at the end if you want if you just want to like give your face that that bit of hydration 
like if you just want to give that bit of hydration back into your face once you've got obviously all like the makeup products on so yeah they're that they are really really good and I don't actually know how much I think because they do like a small bottle and a bigger bottle these are the smaller ones so that it is 118 mil yeah um and then you can get the bigger ones as well I feel like let me have a look because I feel like they even do a set now I can't even spell it Mario Badis oh no I have spelled it right facial spray <gasps> they've got a new one oh my god look can you see that? It is facial spray for aloe, sage and orange blossom. I'm ordering that as soon as I finish this video. Seven pounds. <coughs> yeah, seven pounds. Or yeah, you can buy you can buy all three of them ones for seventeen pounds. And then the bigger bottles are eleven pounds. They've only got that new one in a small bottle, so I'm going to be ordering that after this. Can't not have one part of the collection, come on. Another favourite product of mine, well they're all my favourite products, but you know I'm going to keep saying that because I just am. Um, are the L'Oreal face masks and the sugar scrubs. I have got every single one, every single one that they do, I've got them all. Um, but I thought I'm not going to attempt to pick them all up and show you and you know you, you'd probably be like you're a bit of a weirdo that you collect like different collection items of skincare let's start with the sugar scrub so you get how much do you get 50 milliliters and these ones are 10 pounds they're more expensive than the face masks because these are more new i'm assuming that must be why and the face masks I think when they first came out, the face masks, I think they were about £8. But now, I'm sure they're 5 99 but you can get them in savers and you can get them on offer quite a lot. So, um, yeah, they're not as pricey, but obviously these sugar scrubs are new. You can only really... I've only seen them in, like, Super Dragon boots, I think. Um, but, yeah, you, they come with a little... Obviously, I've taken the lid off. And then it looks like that inside. And, honestly, this one is oh my god the wake up scrub and it's got coffee in it I haven't kept any of the boxes so I, that's where it like tells you everything that's in it so I can't tell you that I'm afraid but they've got like obviously little bits of sh like sugar in and it just helps to exfoliate your face so you're meant to use them to like two to three times a week and um, so I put it all over my face and then you're meant to like scrub it in with warm water. I normally leave it on for about five minutes just to soak it in a little bit and then I'll scrub it off. Um, and then the face masks. This one is the soothing mask. It's the purple one. Uh, this is their most new, newest one. It comes exactly the same. So it's got one of them little things on it, whatever you want to call it. And then it's like that. And this one literally does, it, it soothes your face up so much. It's, they're so, so good. Um, and even though, you know, like the sugar scrubs are £10 and these are, what, £6 or £8, they are still really, really good. And I definitely would, like, have them in my skincare routine permanently. Now, the next product that I want to talk about is <clears throat> the Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. Now, this is another hydrating product. As you can see, I've got so many different hydrating products. I don't... My skin's quite... Um, I get quite dry patches and it's quite sensitive. So, it's not massively dry. Like, don't get me wrong. I have, I'm lucky I have smooth skin. But I feel like because I wear a lot of makeup and fake tan on my face, um, I need a lot of hydration to, like, bring it back to life. So a lot of my products are hydrating. Um, and I just, I love that because I love when you put, like, a hydrating product on your face and it just, feel, like, instantly it just feels soft again and it just feels like fresh skin. It's just, I love it. 
Basically, it says, this lightweight serum delivers an instant shot of moisture to dehydrated skin. Hyaluronic acid and delicate velvet flower blend together for an intensive hydrating effect that leaves skin feeling comforted, looking plumper, with the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles reduced. And then, it's got hyaluronic acid, hydrates for plumper looking skin, velvet flower enhances moisturisation, and dragon's blood comforts and restores through skin hydration. And then it just says apply to cleanse face and neck, use morning and evening before your moisturiser. So yeah, it's more of a serum, it's not a moisturiser, so obviously it's a bit thicker than like obviously what a moisturiser would be. Um, so I mean, I don't use this every day, like as you guys can see I've got loads of different products, so I, I like to mix my products up, otherwise my skin gets bored of the same products. Um, but yeah, this is just, you just put it on and it almost feels like your skin is getting a bit tighter, but it just it really does just bring the hydration back into it this isn't one that i use a lot um it's quite it's quite a rare one that i use basically it is the eblom gel balm cleanser so it looks like that oh you can't see that very well and it comes with a pump like that so this is it pumps out I don't want to do it because it's quite sticky but you can kind of see but yeah it pumps I'll just show you a little bit my finger there but it pumps out and you basically you basically put it in with water and then like it's a cleanser so or it is really sticky if you don't use water obviously um, I remember when I first got it and I put it on just without water not I didn't even read the instructions I just thought oh yeah put it all on and I was like what the hell like why is my face going like all sticky why is it not rubbing it into itself and I was like oh okay it's a cleanser you need to use water um, but it says pump once or twice in the palm of your hand massage gently onto wet skin and rinse well with the lukewarm water so yeah you massage it into your skin and then obviously you wash it off it doesn't go in like a moisturizer would it doesn't just set itself right the next product i'm going to talk about is the revolution hydration boost lightweight hydrating gel cream now this is pretty similar to this one they are quite they do the same same sort of thing um, i think this one is eight pounds obviously it's from revolution the makeup brand um, you can get them in some super drugs. Not all super drugs have them. If your super drugs more more on the small side, um, they don't necessarily have the Revolution skincare in there. Um, but in a lot of the bigger stores where they have like the skincare stands, they do have them in there. But if not, you can get them on the the uh, Revolution website. I don't know if the super drug website do them. I'm not sure, but I got this from Revolution directly. I think it's basically. I'll show you. I love the packaging as well, like the rose gold is just, the rose gold, the rose gold is just so nice. So it comes with like one of them things, I don't know what they're called, like a tab thing, um, obviously like the same as the face masks. It doesn't really smell of anything. I mean it smells clean and fresh but I wouldn't say it has a smell, unless my nose is just blocked. But yeah, it looks like this. It almost looks like cr like whipping cream. But I'll get a bit out. But it's like instantly I've put that blob down and it's so cooling, like it's just so nice. Oh. So obviously the L'Oreal one is more of like a water based, whereas this one is more of like an actual cream. So if I rub that in but yeah and you don't really need a lot either so as soon as it like almost rubs into nothing and then it just leaves you with that water sort of effect again like the same as that one does but yeah obviously if you use too much like it will eventually you just have to keep rubbing but you don't don't need a lot at all so I like to use that before I do my makeup as well so I normally put that on before I put a primer on or sometimes I won't even use a primer and I'll just use that um, just to give that you know like underglow underneath my makeup but yeah that is definitely a really really good product and it's really really good 
really reasonably priced as well so I definitely recommend that one if you're looking for more of a like hydrating water based type moisturiser um, yeah definitely give that one a go so the next products that I'm going to talk about are the Pixie Tonics um, I've got all three of them here they're only the mini ones you can get them in like a massive bottle as well um, but the orange one is the Glow Tonic the purple one is the Retinol Tonic and the pink one is the rose tonic so again obviously i've got all three of them but they all do they all they oh why can't i speak today they all do something different so the rose tonic says naturally soothing and rich in nutrients this tonic helps to tone balance ph minimize redness and calm skin rehydrates replenishes and refreshes Suitable for even the most sensitive skin types, alcohol free, use AM and PM after cleansing. Then the Glow Tonic says gently exfoliates and brightens, revealing healthy glowing skin for all skin types, alcohol free, blah blah blah. Apply after cleansing, apply with a cotton pad, avoiding eye area. I've not actually used that one as you can see. That one is which is weird because normally like a glow product is one that I would reach to first but I don't know I think because I've got so many other hydrating glowy products that I just haven't given that one a go I like this one that one's obviously I've used um yeah and I love the smell of them as well they're just they're just more refreshing like I just put them on as like a final just after I've cleansed and you know added my moisturiser and everything I'll just then go all the way over sorry I'll do this before my moisturiser all the way over my face just to you know even everything out and um, then I'll go in with my moisturiser afterwards the retinol tonic is this multi-action treatment with Time release retinol also replenishes skin with potent antioxidants used daily after cleansing. So yeah, they're just like an extra. I mean, they're not a necessity. I don't think a toner is like something that you have to have in your skincare routine. Um, I just think they're like a bit of an extra if you, you know, you, f you just fancy that a little bit more. I mean, I do like to sit there and, and treat myself to an evening of just doing like loads of different products on me um so yeah and definitely after i use a face mask i'll definitely go in with one of these now next product um is my good old trusty micellar water this is the garnier skin active micellar oil infused cleansing water this is for delicate skin and eyes removes even waterproof makeup and cleanses and comforts face lips eyes no rinsing suitable for contact lens wearers so this is the oil infused one as you can see they do the like yellowy gold one which is also oil infused they do the original pink one which is an oil and then they do the green one as well which also is an oil this one is my favorite um i think the difference between this one and the yellow one is this is waterproof but yeah you basically you just shake it and then it goes like that oh they've got the milky one now as well yeah it's the pink bottle but it's it's like it's not like water it's more milky um, I don't actually know what that does, I haven't tried that one. But yeah, I've tried, I've had, the only one I haven't tried is the yellow one. Um, I've tried the pink one, which is standard, that's, you know, it's good, it's, it's the original, it's, it does what it needs to do. Um, the green one, but this is just the right amount of oil. It, it really does the job and obviously, I mean, I never ever use a makeup wipe, never. I can't, I hate using makeup wipes, I cannot stand it it I just it just doesn't work well with me I mean I used to use baby wipes permanently but no since I found out about micellar water I was like that is it now and ever since I've never gone back I'd never ever use a makeup wipe again or the other one that I normally use um which actually I do prefer to this one um is the L'Oreal and it's the biphase I think that's what it's called I do personally think that a micellar water is a necessity like I don't understand how people can use a makeup wipe. I really like my sister. She, she still, she does like cleanse and stuff. Like she does like her skincare, and you know she she's she's got eczema, so she constantly moisturises, literally like four times a day. But she will still use a makeup wipe to take her makeup off, and I don't understand how people can do it. I just don't. I don't get it at all. It just doesn't. 
no i have to use my micellar water okay so next product is the l'oreal extraordinary oil facial cleansing oil now this it says instantly dissolves all makeup reveal nourished and radiant skin non-greasy um i i do really like this um i don't use it that much as you can see like i've literally used the tiniest bit out the top of it um, I think I've tried it for like two or three times and it's been good every single time I've used it um, but it's more of like again it's more of a cleanser and I just normally reach for my micellar water because it's just it's easy it's quick it's like it's not as messy and sometimes when I do have nights where I just think no like I just want to take my makeup off and go to bed or whatever I just it's micellar water is just so much easier but yeah I do like this and I probably should reach for it more so another product that I love but i forget about um are these two so let me get them out i don't know why i kept this box i just thought it was quite cute i've got it it was in like a, it was like a christmas set like it's got all like hollies all over it i think that's what they are anyway um but yeah it is the mario badescu buffing lotion and the drying lotion you can buy these separately but i decided to buy them as a set because i wanted both of them these products um basically they're so so good when i've got like breakouts and stuff so the drying lotion i will use if i've got like a blemish that's visible and you know that's just sort of sitting there won't go i will use the drying lotion if i've got a bump that's like under the skin um you know like one them them lumps where they just come up and you just think oh and you try and squeeze it and nothing comes out because it's literally under the surface i will use this which is the buffering lotion um they are such good products they really really do work like i just normally get a cotton pad and then i'll show you so it's like a pot so i'll dip it in there they don't smell nice at all they smell so chemically but i suppose that's how you kind of know that they do the job definitely get these two because they they work wonders don't be picking at it because that is what i do i get a spot and i'm like constantly picking 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 whereas if you just put some of these on go to sleep forget about it wake up the next morning they are half the size and then you know they're just going their own time but when you pick and pick and pick makes it worse spreads it then you get scars yeah it's just it's just a nightmare so definitely definitely go and get these the next product is the Nip and Fab Hydrate Dragon's Blood Fix Jelly Mask. This is, honestly, this will change your life. Like, this is just so good. I can't, honestly, I get so excited about it. I can't deal with it. I can't deal. Um, <laughs> oh, I'm a weirdo. I get excited over skincare. Um, yeah, no, this... This is the best face mask. So obviously I showed you the L'Oreal ones and I said I don't really reach for any other face mask. This is probably the only other one that I would ever reach for. This face mask is just something else. Like this whole range, the Dragon's Blood Fix range, is just, it's, it's so, so good. I even like the smell of it. Oh, it smells like all of their, their other products, so all their Dragon's Blood products. It's like, it's a really strong smell. But I just love it. It just smells like skincare. Like it just smells fresh and hydrating and clean. And oh, it just smells so good. But I would normally just take a little bit out, put it all over my my um what's this called face. Put it all over my face, um, and then just like I sort of like pat it in because you don't want to rub because it is a mask. So obviously it's not a moisturiser you don't want to rub it into your skin you need it to just sit there like a face mask would so you could apply it with a brush um i have done that but i do like to apply this one with my hands just because of the texture of it it is literally like jelly like it wobbles like jelly oh it's so nice but yeah pat it all over make sure it's all over my skin and then leave it for 10 to 15 minutes um and then i'll go and wash it off um but yeah it is the best when it says that it hydrates it really really does it is just so it's just so nice i don't know if the texture just makes it even better but that texture because it's like jelly it's just so cooling on your face and it's just so so good um i've heard people say as well put them in the fridge because it makes them even better because obviously they'll go like ice cold and they're when you put them on they're just like 
it almost like tingles and burns your skin because it's like so cold but yeah they are so good after i've applied that face mask and you know cleaned it off and everything i'll always go in with this as well which is again nip of fab dragon's blood fix essence mist so this is just like another facial mist i love 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 a facial mist like they're just they're just so they're so good they just bring your face back it's like back into life again and I just think they're just so hydrating. It's like a split second you get the hydration like, as you spray it. But it's just it's just so, so good. Nearly finished, guys. I bet you're all buzzing about that. That I'm not going to keep going on talking for ages. Um, okay, next product is this one. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Cleanser Water Gel. Um, they do a milky one as well i think it's milky or it might just be like i don't know but this is the water one this one is like this but obviously in a cleanser form um yeah i've used you know a little bit of it at the top but i've not actually had this one that long so i do really like this this has got hyaluronic acid in again which obviously is a product that i clearly really like um but yeah this is just this is really good for hydration into your skin bringing your skin looking back to life again giving your skin that glow yeah really 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 good cleanser and it's really good price as well i think it was about i think i got it on offer in tesco's actually i think it was five pounds um, and then after i've used that i'll always go in with this which is the hydro boost express hydrating spray another spray because i just love them now this is this is a weird spray because it's not like the other ones they're like they come out and they're just like watery sort of um but this one comes out as you, i don't know if you can see in the actual bottle but it's like it's like a moisturizer in the bottle like you can hear that it's quite it's quite thick it's like an actual moisturizer so when you spray it out it's like it sprays moisturizer but in a spray form and yeah it's 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 different to an, an a normal spray so um but yeah this is this is so nice now another set that i i like using sets as you can see because i just think like if you if there's one product that you like in that range if it's really good then and like you know it works really well with your skin then why not try the rest of the range i do like my sets so this is another one and i've got this as well um this is more like again for like a lazy night when i just think i just can't really be bothered to do a lot i'll just use these um so this is the Subin botanical cleansing milk this one is the the toner and then this one is just like the day cream so like your moisturizer so i'll just go in with my micellar water all over my face use some of this use some of this and then oh use some of this um so yeah this is just like a basic this these aren't expensive at all like these you can get them from anywhere they do them in savers super drug savers is my favorite shop by the way because you can get so much skincare in there for so cheap i'm sorry but it's just so good um if you don't know about savers then you need to know so go down to savers and have a look because you'll just come away with so much but yeah these they are they really do the job they hydrate and soothe they smell nice they they just they really do work so um yeah these are more like you know if you if you don't really want to go out and spend a lot on skincare but you do want just a nice little set just so that you can use every single day definitely definitely recommend this set okay so last but not least um i've left this product to last because um it is my trusty pseudo cream now i love this product like honestly you can't go wrong with a bit of pseudo cream like you literally can't um this product is just so good if if I've got like a lot of blemishes, I'll like put a little bit on top of it and then just sleep in it overnight and my blemish just goes down straight away. And it's so funny because whenever I've got like quite a lot of blemishes and you know I'm moaning about my skin, Ollie will say to me like, oh maybe the pseudo cream's not working, you know, like if you don't think they're going down, try something else. So I tried Witch Hazel, which, yes, don't get me wrong, Witch Hazel is so, so good and it, it really does work as well. I was using something, uh, what did I go to? I think it was just like a a Witch Hazel gel from Superdrug. I was using that and, no, it was an oil, it was a Witch Hazel oil. Um, I was using that and then I was like, 
you know yeah it was going down but it just still wasn't working went back to my pseudo cream and they were just gone when i woke up in the morning like and i said like ollie don't even try and talk to me and tell me about my skincare because i know that trusty pseudo cream you can't live without if you're a girl you cannot live without pseudo cream so see you later ollie don't even be telling me what i need for my face okay and now i know not to listen to him anymore so that is the end of my video i really really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next video bye